it's not a something that happens usually where you go from homeless in a house to homeless on the street. Cece knows how people end up homeless because it's her job as a navigator to help people living along the American River connect with resources. And she's seen a new trend, a rise in the number of elderly finding themselves on the street. Well, a lot of times the for the elderly or the seniors out here, the kids might be willing to take them in, but the parents, the parents or even the grandparents don't want to burden the, the younger generation, partly because of the expense and partly I think part of it is pride. Sacramento Self-Help Housing says they've seen a dramatic increase in homelessness among elderly residents in Sacramento County. They work to rapidly rehouse the homeless, but say the elderly provide unique challenges because they have special health needs and their limited income is insufficient in competitive retail markets like we see here in California. So many people, especially elderly women, end up lingering in social programs. This house in South Natomas is one such example. All of its residents are over 70 years old. I have a suitcase full of pictures of friends from the past. And I get them and he's gone, she's gone, he's gone, she's gone, he's gone, she's gone. And they're all gone. Only very few of my friends are left. I had a twin brother. He's been dead about 15 years. Why am I here? Eula's 94 years old, and she's seen a lot. Did you ever think that you'd end up in a situation like this? After taking care of the elderly for so many years and seeing what families do to the elderly, yeah, it's a possibility. I didn't want it, but I got some health issues. I had a broken hip. I had pneumonia. I'm losing my memory. <laughs> so I'm, I've seen what happens. I'm aware of what's going on. And you do what you can, but there's not much you can do unless you have money. Eula says she lost her house when her daughter sold it out from under her. I bought my house, I put it in her name in case something happened to me, and she sold it. And I was evicted. Sacramento Self-Help Housing says one of the most alarming trends they've seen in the past three years is the number of seniors on the street. Between 2017 and 2019, the number increased 22%. Now, 30% of all the homeless in Sacramento County are over 50. Nancy also lives in the home. She's 85 years old and has significant hearing loss. A few years ago, she also found herself without a home. They kept raising my rent, you know, and they, they raised my rent to the point where I could not afford to live there and pay my bills. She has COPD and heart failure and has ended up in and out of hospitals. She said she's seen a lot and has been through a lot but the worst injustice happened once as she was being released from a hospital and had nowhere to go. The hospital um, security guards came out and told me I had to move. And they put me in a chair. It was like a chaise lounge on wheels. Then they pushed me across the street to where the church was. And that one is, wasn't open. Then they actually turned me upside down and dumped me on the steps of that church. I stood on that corner trying to wave people down to help me, and no cars would stop. Thankfully, a kind couple did stop. And eventually, Nancy found her way into Sacramento Self-Help Housing's rehousing shelter. And yet, Nancy has a family. Five kids, to be exact. Like many Americans, Nancy doesn't want to be a burden. They have their own lives, so there really was no place for me to go. Despite her situation, Nancy refuses to feel sorry for herself. But she does acknowledge her reality. 
but the rent is so high, even if you live on a fixed income, it's hard for you to get a place unless you have outside help by a company like this one. Uh, that helps you. If you, if you can't get help, you're almost lost. I don't know if it's a sickness or, I don't know how to describe it. It's our culture. The warning bells are sounding as more and more elderly people find themselves on the street. Like other forms of homelessness, there is no one single cause. Still, we must ask ourselves, is a basic tenet about how we see ourselves as Americans at the root of the problem? 